We're working in intermediate algebra. This is section 6.5. It starts on page 241. We're going to talk about the graphs of quadratic functions. The graph of a quadratic function is called a parabola, and it has the shape of a U or an upside down U, which some people call a frowny face. Um, there are some aspects of this graph that you need to be aware of. The vertex would be the lowest point or the highest point on the graph. So uh, that would be here. This is the vertex or here, the vertex. Uh, the vertex has coordinates. Uh, so we identify the vertex by its coordinates. This looks like 4, negative 4.5. And this one looks like negative 1, 3. So we identify the vertex by its coordinates. The vertex is called a minimum if it's at the bottom when the parabola opens up. This would be a minimum. Or a maximum when it's at the top because the parabola opens down. So this is the vertex. That's the first thing you need to identify. The second thing you need to identify is you see this dotted line here on these graphs. This is called the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is an imaginary line, and we usually identify it with this dot, the dotted line, runs through the center of your parabola right through your vertex, whether it's a minimum or a maximum, and it identifies that the parabola is a mirror image or identical on either side of that axis of symmetry. We identify the axis of symmetry with an equation. This axis of symmetry is x equals 4 because it is the equation for this vertical line that goes through an x-coordinate of 4. This axis of symmetry is identified with x equals negative 1 because it goes through the x-coordinate of negative 1. This is the equation for this line. So those are some important things that you need to know about parabolas. All right, looking at example 1 on page 242, it tells us to graph f of x equals x squared plus 1. Uh, give a written description for the shift and graph this function. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the graph of just plain f of x. Okay, um, the graph of f of x equals x squared is just a parabola I know I'm trying to draw dotted, but it doesn't really, um, that goes through the origin here. It's just a standard width, and, um, you know, the axis of symmetry is the, x, the y axis here. But when we start adding or subtracting things to the x squared, this shifts our vertex. Um, a plus one will shift this vertex up. So this is a shift. Up, and that will move our vertex from being off the origin to a positive one. There we go. Back in the orange. So I'm going to put this vertex here on positive one. The parabola is still a standard width. Okay, the vertex is now at zero one. Since it's at the bottom, it's a minimum. Okay. And the axis of symmetry, which I'm going to use AOS, axis of symmetry, to abbreviate. The axis of symmetry runs right here through the center. This is the equation x equals 0. It's the y-axis. All right, example 2 says graph x squared minus 3. And uh, we do see that now we have a minus 3 here. So this is going to be a shift down 3 units. So our vertex is now going to be off of the, uh, the origin down to negative 3 here. And our parabola opens up just like this. Don't forget your arrows, okay? Uh, the vertex is at 0, negative 3. It's still a minimum. The axis of symmetry still here on the y-axis runs straight through here. The equation is x equals 0. Example 3 is on page 243. It says graph f of x equals x squared minus 1 half. Give a written description for the shift. 
the shift is here. Anything that's being added or subtracted to x squared is a vertical shift. So this is a shift down one half of a unit. So instead of being on the origin, my vertex is going to shift down a half a unit. So it's going to be right there at negative one half. So I can put a point there. That's the vertex. It's, uh, it's uh, coordinates will be 0, negative 1 half. That parabola is going to open up just like that. Whoops, I missed it. Just like that. The vertex, the axis of symmetry is here. It's still x equals 0. And I forgot to identify this vertex is a minimum, not a maximum. Example 4 is on page 244, f of x equals negative x squared plus 3. We see this shift here, which we know is going to be a shift up. This is going to go up 3 units, but we also see a new shift here, this negative sign. This negative sign, instead of in front of x squared, will invert your parabola. So now it's going to open down instead of up. So uh, we're going to start with our vertex, which is being shifted up three, point, uh, three units. So our vertex is now going to be here. But when I draw this parabola now, I'm going to invert it. It's going to open down. The vertex is now a maximum because it's at the top of the parabola, and its coordinates are 0, 3. The axis of symmetry is still right here on the y-axis, so the axis of symmetry is x equals 0. Whenever you see a negative on your coefficient for x squared, that inverts your parabola and makes it open down. Example 5 is on page 244. It says f of x equals x plus 4 in parentheses squared. This is a different kind of shift, and I want, I'm drawing your attention to these two functions here because they are not the same thing. We already talked about this kind of shift. This is a vertical shift. This will be up. When the addition or subtraction is outside of the square, it's a vertical shift. In this example, the addition is inside the square. So this is a horizontal shift. And this will be, actually, when you do these horizontal shifts, they're the opposite direction that you would think they'd be. When we shift horizontally, the plus numbers are over here, but horizontal shifts are actually the opposite direction. So because this says plus, this is going to be a shift to the left. Okay, so be a shift left 4 units. So our vertex is now going to be at negative 4. We don't see any negatives here, so this parabola opens up. The vertex is a minimum. Its coordinates are negative 4, 0. The axis of symmetry is now no longer on the y-axis. Once we do a horizontal shift, our axis of symmetry is now over here. So I'm going to put that in with this red line here. Okay, The axis of symmetry is now x equals negative 4. So noticing the difference here, if your plus or minus is outside of the square, it's a vertical shift. If it's inside the square, it's a horizontal shift, and the horizontal shifts are the opposite direction that the sign indicates. Example 6 is on page 245. It says f of x equals x minus 2 squared and we see that this minus 2 is inside the square, like the last example, so this is a horizontal shift. So this is a horizontal. Which direction? Because this is a minus, it's going to go in the right direction. The horizontal shifts are the opposite direction of the sign, so this is going to shift the vertex right two units, and my vertex will now be here. There are no negatives 
on my x squared so this parabola opens up. Okay, the vertex is a minimum because it's at the bottom. Its coordinates are 2, 0. The axis of symmetry is here. The equation for that is x equals 2. Example 7 is at the bottom of page 245. It says f of x equals x minus 3 fourths squared. And again, we see that this shift is inside the square, so this is horizontal. This will be horizontal, and it will be in the right direction. So that's going to shift my uh, vertex right three-fourths of a unit. All right, and that, you might think that's a little tricky, but, you know, we can't really be that accurate when our units are this small. So you're just going to estimate three-fourths of a unit will be like, you know, right about here. By the time I draw this, it's going to actually take up a lot of space there. And my parabola opens up just like that. This vertex is a minimum. Its coordinates are three-fourths, zero. The axis of symmetry runs here through the vertex. And its equation is x equals 3 fourths. Example 8 is on page 246. It says f of x equals negative x plus 2 squared. We see our plus 2 inside the square, so this is a horizontal shift. And this will be in the left direction. And we also see this negative here now. This negative is going to um, cause our parabola to invert. So this negative will invert or make our parabola open down. So our vertex is going to shift left two. So that's going to put my vertex here. Now my parabola opens down. Don't forget your arrows. And my axis of symmetry comes down here like this. So our vertex is a maximum now because it's at the top. Uh, it has the coordinates negative 2, 0. Our axis of symmetry is the equation x equals negative 2. Okay, I'm going to finish these graphs because there's still, there's eight more. I'll finish these on the next video.